Hey guys, it's Kingdom Player. I'm going to be going over some Kingdom Hearts merch that I've got recently. Um, some of it's not Kingdom Hearts merch, like, um, I know you can't exactly see it, but I have the Gamer Mickey to the left hand side. I got Vanitas, Christmas Town Sora, and the Soldier Heartless. So we're going to be looking at them. Um, I will not be putting, taking them out of the box um, during this video, I apologize. Um, I actually want to keep them in the box, <laughs> so but I will be able to tell you the details about them though fully in this video. So we shall get right into it for each one. So we have Vanitas one right here. Um, this one it was uh, it's actually really well detailed from the Keyblade, uh, the Keyblade and the paint they really approved. Um, Funko has really improved since then because the, the other Kingdom Hearts pops for Kingdom Hearts 2, I didn't get really any of them because the paint job was just like smeared and stuff and really bad. Like it wasn't well done, but they've really upped their game on the paint this time. Um, the Keyblade's are really well designed, really done. I'm very surprised in how they did the organization coat. Um, it's really well done as well. Under the Vanitas mask, you probably can't even tell, you see Vanitas um, is uh, the skin suit, whatever it's called that he usually wears. You can tell that um, they added that design as well, which I was shocked about because I didn't expect them to actually have that design there. But they ha do have that design on the top of it. Um, the head itself is it's really well done, it's just his helmet. You know what? I will take. I'm going to take them out of the box one by one. I'll do, I'll do it. <laughs> Give me one moment. Okay, so I took them out of the box. Um, you can tell it's really well done from the organization suit. See in the back. There's no paint smears. I just really love how well done they did this from the Keyblade. They're really upping their game on it. And then you can see at the bottom right there. See his regular skin suit under his helmet. Um. This is probably one of my favorite pops I got. It's really well done. I'm just really surprised by it. It is not a bobblehead one. It's a full figure. I know some 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 pops are bobbleheads. Some aren't. This one's a uh, regular figure. See his keyblade. Sorry, it's a little blurry. It's just really well done. I'm really happy about it. I just I, I just love the organization suit. They just really did a well a well job on it, way better. They've learned from their mistakes and they just really up their game with these pops. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Another one um, I got was the Soldier Heartless. They really did a, again, this is another pop they did, pop they did a really good job with just the colors, just no, you know, having no paint smear. Um, you can see the design on the top, which I really like a lot this part there are some smudges are a bit in the back but they're not you know it's not like something that's much of an eyesore I don't know if you see it like right here I think this one's one of my favorite pops from the Kingdom Hearts line I was hoping for a soldier heartless and they had got it <laughs> there's a little paint chip smear on the top right over here really well done I'm really happy with this one this one's really nice and I'm sorry for my phone going off in the background I should turn it off so um but yeah sorry <laughs> got distracted so you guys can see I really, if you're a big Kingdom Hearts fan, I really recommend getting these. These are um, really fun to collect, and they're really fun to just, you know, be able to have.
for your collection. They're just really well made. Now this one isn't Kingdom Hearts related, but I thought you know I thought it'd be something interesting to sh show you guys. Um, this is the Gamer Mickey Pop, exclusive to GameStop. It's one of my favorite pops. This is even better designed. Like just the headphones. And s if you, um, if you were here in person, the headphones almost seem like they're able to be able to be detached. Um, the paint job's done well as well, from the little game controller Mickey has, to his shoes, to the hoodie he's wearing, even the hat almost seems detachable. There is a smart, uh, not a smart, but the, 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 there is a smear right here, like a white smear. I know you can see that, um, and then there's like a little chip paint right there in the ear. It is what it is, but, um, this is one of my favorite ones that I have in my collection. I've just been looking forward to getting this. Um, this one's another very well done. Um, the strap right here, it looks a little weird though, because it looks like it's can detach, which it's probably the only part I have to complain a bit about, but I'm overall happy with this one. Again, the headphones are pretty cool. They almost seem like I just take them right off of Mickey. But I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite pops, even if it's not Kingdom Hearts. But, you know, Mickey's in Kingdom Hearts, so maybe Mickey here is just, you know, gaming up and just playing some Kingdom Hearts games, getting ready for Kingdom Hearts 3 release, just like the rest of us. Well, most of you guys, I <laughs> haven't been playing any of the Kingdom Hearts games lately myself, but I'm hoping to do a playthrough. Um, starting with uh, Fragmentary Passage next year before I get into Kingdom Hearts 3. It's probably one of my favorite ones. And just to let you know that guys know, they're also supposed to come out with Gamer uh, Mini, Goofy, and Donald next year. I will let you guys know what's the 411 on that on my Twitter account. You can follow me on my Twitter which will be in the will be a link for it in the description below if you're interested in that. Um, here in the next one, this one is one of my favorite. I was looking forward to this one. I was unable to get the other um, Nightmare Before Christmas Sora pops uh, with Don and Goofy, and I really wanted to get the Sora one, but I was unable to get it. But I was able to get the Christmas Town Sora pop. This is probably my favorite. This one's also very well designed. The eyeshadow they do around the eye is really good. It's not smeared onto the hair or anything. Again, they've been really, they've been um, really good at making sure the paint job isn't smeared like it was before. Um, the hat, oh, 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 the hat's really, the hat's really well done as well. Um, there's some markings on the hat though up here, and the little piece right here is kind of detachable. I didn't put the stand so. Try to get in the full picture. This was just a not well down pop. Um, it was actually the last one at the hot topic I went to. <laughs> was so happy I was able to get it, get it in time before someone else did. This is probably one of my favorite ones to get that I have gotten. Next up, um, I actually got the Kingdom Hearts Sora 1 shoes from GameStop. They're actually really comfortable. I think there's some kind of thing in here because it was rubbing against my foot. And that's probably what it was. <laughs> I was wondering what was in there. These are um, the Kingdom Hearts Sora 1. Pl um, they're not plush, but sorry, they're so big I can't fit them in the camera. <laughs> so I had to do one at a time. Um, these are ones from GameStop. Um, they're really soft. They're really comfortable. They're really silly too. They kind of make me feel like I'm wearing cartoon shoes. So, but um, they're really fun. You can only find these ones at GameStop. Every game, it seems like there are only one pair at each GameStop. Um, you got the straps right here, and then you got like a little silver lining. This one's just more like a paint, really. Um, the funny thing is though, um, these are the Kingdom Hearts One Source shoes, and they label them Kingdom Hearts Two. Like, even inside of the label, it says Kingdom Hearts 2 in it. And I thought it was funny. See, the bottom's got a, the rough pattern with the dots. 
But yeah, I thought that was funny because these are the Kingdom Hearts 1 um, slippers and it says Kingdom Hearts 2. Sorry, that sound is my Tamagotchi. Let me just... There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, they're really fun. These are really fun. I recommend these for fans. Um, the, again, they're really fluffy. Uh, you know, as in like, you know... But they're really, they're really fun. Well, maybe my whole foot fits inside as like this extra room right here. There's extra room right here for your toes. Um, they just made me feel like I'm wearing cartoon shoe uh, um, slippers. Um, the strap's not adjustable. I mean, you can move these around, but it's not like they are like kind of shoelaces or other type of straps where you just adjust them. Um, see if I can get the insides. He's got the Kingdom Hearts 2 label there. All of these again are Kingdom Hearts 1 based. Um, there are Kingdom Hearts 2, but they're plushy ones. Um, I don't. I haven't exactly got to see them in person. I don't know if they are the same size as these ones, but um, yeah, and then there's just the little things like right here, there's this paint, there's a little chip paint over here on this side over here, um, it's kind of got like wrinkles. Sorry, I can't even, they're, again, they're so big I can't fit them in the camera. Again, you can only find these at GameStop. Um, the game, each GameStop only seems to be able to get one pair each, so you're more likely probably be able. You probably can still get them at some GameStops, a lot of them, because some people might not even know they're there. But they're um, the pl big plush ones for Kingdom Hearts 2 are at Hot Topic. But I really like these a lot. They're really fun. <laughs> they're really fun, cartoonish. They're very comfortable to wear. Um, the only problem I had with them was I had a hard time f putting my foot in them. <laughs> I really like struggled to put my whole foot in there. That's probably the only thing I have to complain about it. Um, I just think it's funny again it says Kingdom Hearts 2. These are Kingdom Hearts 1 base. And the ones at Hot Topic are the ones that are Kingdom Hearts 2. So this is a mislabeling there. Um, these are about around $30, not including plus tax. And I really wanted to show them to you guys. Let me see if I can just try to get them in the whole camera. Sorry, I'm, probably, I'm a little farther away from the mic this time. Probably see me in the background. Hey. See my mic too. But these are these are really fun. I really love these a lot. These are such a great thing to have. I recommend them for fans. And if when I do my gameplay, I'm probably going to wear them why I do gameplay. Okay, just a warning. Uh, I am going to be moving the camera for this because this can't fit in the whole camera. I was able to get the PDP, PDP Kingdom Hearts Keyblade. Um, I like it a lot. Here's the the key the keychain with the Mickey head. I don't know what exactly it's called, but um, it is detachable, which is pretty cool. Um, this is plastic. It's um, very lightweight, which I like a lot because I have one of those uh, foam heavy ones that are from I got from um, a Tokyo store. I think it's called Tokyo. Um, that one's really heavy, and I was thinking this was going to be heavy too, but it's actually really lightweight, and it's what, probably one of my favorite parts about it. So it's not so heavy. You got the paint job right here. This part right here is foam all the way across the here this is foam but it's very lightweight it's probably my favorite part to me it's the same thing as the Bandai one the only difference is the Bandai one is a little bit bigger because I've seen the Bandai one in person it's bigger the Bandai one lights up it makes noises um, and it's much more expensive this is only about 40 bucks and I highly recommend it. It's great for cosplaying, for events, or if you're just a fan and want to have something around to put up in your room for with your Kingdom Hearts stuff. But it's very lightweight. You can really like. I mean, it's. I was so surprised that it was lightweight. <laughs> um, there is going to be a different version of this coming to GameStop. It's Mickey's Kingdom Key D. 
is going to be coming exclusively to GameStop if you want to get Mickey's one, but this is the Sora one. See, there's a detachable key, uh, the keychain. Let's see if I can show you. See, it's detachable. Um, the color right here is a dark, it's a dark gold, it's not like a light gold like Sora's. This is an official licensed product by Disney with the company PDP. And a lot of people are questioning, it, is this right here brown or black? This is brown. I even looked at uh, some of the artwork or whatever it is, uh, pictures of Sora's Kingdom Key. Um, his thing right here, I don't even know what to call it, is actually brown, it's not black. This right here is also plastic. It's like a, it's blue. It's got like the little bluish dots. I don't know what the pattern is called exactly, um, but I think this is very worth it. Especially if you want to have something to, you know, cosplay with for events. I highly recommend it. You can get them at GameStop. Uh, some GameStops have some. Some have like up to a lot. There was one GameStop that I found actually had five of these. The one I went to had two. Um, you can also get them at the PDP website as well or Amazon and I rec I just really recommend this I really love this a lot it's probably my favorite keyblade that I've gotten I will definitely be using it for cosplay um, and I really wanted to show you guys it. it's just really great to have show you guys some more I'm a little farther away from the mic Alright guys, that's it. Oh, let me get closer to my... <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps out a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you want faster news and updates, you can follow me on my Twitter account. The link will be in the description below. Um, I get news out faster that way before I can make a video. I retweet things too in the Kingdom Hearts news related. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm still learning, trying to how to do, you know, learn how to do these videos. I know I'm not the greatest at doing these, but I really wanted to share this with you guys. Alright guys, until next time, may your heart be your guiding key. See ya.